I recently made a video on uh, AP Last Strikes to expose uh, some design issues in uh, raw cages. And in the comments, someone pointed me to one incident that happened in Australia where a car actually had a double AP Last Strike uh, by rolling and hitting a tree and uh, causing both AP Last to collapse. It looks like the car had an X roof bar configuration and no weld seemed to have failed, but the entire front of the kit uh, collapsed down. The WRC27 regulations introduce a tubular frame safety cell that will be common to all cars. If you look at how current roll cages are built, they are usually following 253-3 with the main roll bar and two laterals. But there is also a design known as 253-1 which is a main roll bar and a main front roll bar that are interconnected by two longitudinal members. And it's kind of this design that uh, the new WRC27 regulations are using with the introduction of three main hoops. You have one in the rear, one in the front, and one in the center. So traditionally, we used to have a single piece uh, lateral that was a very long bar. And now this has been replaced by three shorter bars and interestingly, to reinforce um, the A pillar, in case of an A pillar strike, they have a new bar between the A pillar and the front main hoop. So what used to be the 253-15 uh, A pillar reinforcement bar that was supporting the bend in the uh, front roll bar uh, is now the main uh, structural element uh, of the front roll bar. And the bar that follows the A pillar would attach to what would be the frame rail uh, further forward on a unibody car. It is supported by multiple bars connected to uh, the uh, front roll bar. So what is now the front roll bar is still supported by a small bar that is connected to the upper door bar and upon impact it will transfer the forces to two uh, vertical bars connected to the chassis. The roof bar configuration is a typical 253-14-253-22, uh, which is also known as a double V configuration. But in this case, the uh, bars in the roof are cut into sections. And interestingly, there is also the addition of a front V uh, started from the middle hoop to the front hoop. If you look at the attachment point in the rear uh, that was seen on the prototype, the attachment point for the rear of the V is on the inside of the strut tower, whereas the rear backstay in the on the opposite side of the strut over, leaving quite a distance between the two attachment points. It is interesting to know that all the bars in the roof and in the corners are using taco gussets. And what used to be uh, the temple bar is now a bar in the rear and uh, four bars around the uh, middle hoop. The door bars are made of one horizontal bar and one bend bar, and both are connected using uh, vertical bars and then a taco gusset in the center. The lower bar is also uh, secure to the frame with two vertical bars and the tubular frame acts as a, a seal bar for the door bars and note that in the rear all the forces from the uh, door bars are also transferred to the rear structure at the rear of the chassis. The door bar design is a departure from the traditional uh, two symmetrical bar joined by the simple uh, taco gussets that the uh, FIA had been presenting at uh, Safety Week uh, this year. Talking about Safety Week, uh, the FIA presented uh, uh, the results of the crash test of the new design and I had a progressing video about that earlier this year. In this slide I'm going to show you uh, just one of the tests performed uh, in this specific case the side impact at the level of uh, uh, the mirror bar. So we basically fixed the survival cell on uh, a trolley. We did ballast clearly the trolley in order to reach the minimum weight of the previous uh, rally one car version. And we did measure the response of the car uh, in terms of uh, peak G, energy absorbed um, and intrusion. One of the key takeaway is a comparison between the old generation WRC car that was a regular chassis with a roll cage uh, like we have in most of our cars versus the new generation uh, rally car which is on the right in this video uh, that has a tubular chassis with an integrated roll cage bit built on top of the tubular chassis. They were able to significantly improve uh, the intrusion and uh, shock absorption with the new design. So for me one of the key takeaways is introduction of this middle hoop that we saw in the Ready One cars during the hybrid era and by reducing the span of the uh, laterals 
it really improves the uh, protection of the occupants, uh, both on lateral impacts and uh, vertical impacts. And it also puts the uh, occupant further away from uh, A-pillar collapse, especially with a new reinforcement bar between the A-pillar and the front main hub. I think the only downside of the design is now the opening for egress uh, in the car is uh, uh, very small and that has always been a, a, a constraint um, but uh, for larger folks it's going to be a challenge to get in and out of those cars for sure. I would like to hear your comments and what you think about uh, this new kit design. Please feel free to post in the comments and uh, uh, give this uh, video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Thank you.